Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Marshall bringing you guys another video. In today's video, we're going to cover a few of the map changes that are coming to Fortnite Battle Royale very, very soon. So if you guys don't know, Fortnite usually makes an update uh, for the weekly challenges. And whenever that update happens, that's when we see a few of the map changes. Like, as you guys remember, Dusty Divot was actually ending up getting a lot more uh, trees growing. And you can actually see it from here, as you guys can see. There's trees growing inside of Dusty Divot. Um, and that was some of the updates that have been happening. But Tilted Tower got hit at the start of season four with the meteor and we've been seeing some changes with tilted towers basically the construction of tilted towers is starting to happen as you guys can see tilted towers is basically almost destroyed i mean it, it, this half this building right here got destroyed these were like i guess i don't want to say apartments but it was just like a business office area and they got destroyed completely by the meteor and they actually hit a little bit of castle or big bertha whatever you guys want to call this building right here it hit a little bit of it but they fixed it immediately and now it looks brand new but they're still working on this building which we have a leaked image of what it's going to look like and on screen right now this is an image of what the next map update is going to look like if you guys zoom into tilted towers you're going to be able to see that there is a new building going to be built on top of this one so as you guys can see in the image there it looks like the building is not yet completely built because there's a lot of like wooden unpainted pallet all around it which is really good because that means one we're going to be able to get a lot more wood at tilted towers because we were getting a lot of brick from all the trash laying around but now we can get more wood by these wooden pallets there are also wooden pallets inside big bertha if you guys did not know that give you a lot of wood there's i believe one up here two down here and then one more down here as you guys can see these wooden pallets give you a lot so there's going to be wooden pallets here at the new building in the near future so once this update happens we're going to be able to see a lot more people building in tilted towers so if you do not get a weapon at tilted towers and you see somebody with a shotgun and they also have a lot of mats you're, you're going to want to run because knowing that there's going to be a lot more wooden pallets here at this building location you're just going to know there's going to be a lot of tryhards there trying to go crazy hard but if you guys are looking in the image you can see that it looks like a smaller building now this building isn't as big as the last one it actually looks like it might just be i don't know it looks like the roof of a building it looks completely different from any other building in tilted towers if you guys look at all the other buildings at tilted towers they all have black tops each one of them have a black like asphalt top to the roof um even the garage does over here the garage over here has a black asphalt roof but for some reason this one in the image it only has like a silver it looks like it's like I don't even know. It looks like it could be the top of uh, the, the, the clock tower over here that we see over there. It looks like it could be like a giant thing like that. But you never know. It looks like we're just going to see an update. It could just be a concrete slab that they're just putting down for now. But who knows? We just know for sure that there's going to be an update within Tilted Tower. So the next time you see a map update... Just know, don't land at Tilted Towers unless you want to get destroyed just because everyone's going to be landing there again. Whenever there's a map update or something happens, a lot of people want to check it out the first day that it happens because they want to see what it's about and what it looks like. And holy crap, there's a llama over there. I never even noticed that when I was playing the game. But with that being said, that is not the only map change within the game. I want to show you guys something that's actually pretty big, something that a lot of people were talking about and they have speculation. So the biggest meteor hit Dusty Divot right here, you guys. This, I mean, this is a huge crater if you actually like look at it and you get close to it this thing is massive like to, to fill this thing with dirt is going to take a long time it took tilted towers like what two three four weeks to fill the little baby crater that they had at tilted towers this one is going to take way too long so i don't think they're going to fill this with dirt just because of how long it probably would take and also we can see that there's vegetation growing there's trees growing inside of it and it looks like this could be a forest i don't know why i have a strong feeling that maybe the whaling woods over there could end up being right here this could be like the new whaling woods where all we see is trees nothing but trees inside of a little crater which is going to be a crazy easy spot to camp just because the trees are growing everywhere but as you guys can see on the image right here it shows more trees are even growing inside of dusty divot there's a lot of vegetation growing the the earth mother nature is finally taking its form inside of the crater there's a lot more trees there's actually trees actually coming inside of the actual like compound where the meteor hit so a lot of the like police trucks or i don't know what you want to call them fbi agents or whatever you want to call them that are here there's actually trees growing inside of it where this helicopter is there's going to be trees there there's going to be trees over here on this side of it there's going to be trees basically all around dusty divot and this place i believe in the near future is going to be filled with nothing but grass and trees kind of like whaling woods and it would make sense because whaling woods is a good place to get trees and stuff like 
like that but it is outside of the map it is so far away from the map and everything else that when you land at Wailing Woods it's like it's boring you know there's nothing really there all you have is trees and that's basically it but if they put that right here in the center of the map where everything is it could change the game up a little bit and it could be actually interesting because if anyone lands at Salty Springs or say Retail Row or anything like that they can rotate over here to the new Wailing Woods where they can get trees and stuff like that people could be camping in the woods and it'll be actually pretty interesting to see that over here now I don't know what's going to happen with this whole thing maybe there could be two forests in the map you never know what they what they plan on doing but from the images we can see that they are having trees grow in this specific area now like I said it's going to take way too long to fill this place up completely with dirt I mean it, it, it took freaking tilted towers like four weeks man just to fill that little crater now this this is massive this is like three times the size as you guys can see just looking from one side to the other side look at how far away this is like this is not going to be an easy task but with that being said now one of the other places that we can actually show you guys is all the way over here this one is something that everyone's been talking about the the rocket what's going on with the rocket what's been happening I thought we were going to be able to launch it because they were coding saying that we were able to but nothing has happened so people are curious about this rocket that we have over here at the villain layer over by snobby short so there, if you guys don't know everyone should know by now there is a secret missile inside of the super villain layer now a lot of people are curious as to what this could be what it means or anything like that so as you can see here is the rocket right here now from a bird's eye view you can see the rocket you can see it if you if you push your little map pad you can see that there's a rocket here in this location but with the new map update the image that was leaked we can see that the rocket is missing which means the rocket was either destroyed taken away or launched it could mean any of those three things if it was taken away it could be like the FBI they ended up taking it away from the supervillains if it was destroyed that means maybe the superheroes like carbide and Omega teamed up and they actually ended up taking away the rocket or if it was launched who knows maybe because a week eight's loading screen we saw the blockbuster skin was ready to launch the missile he was actually typing in the codes ready to launch it and he probably got it launched off so so if you guys remember from season three, we always saw the meteor in the sky. What if we're going to see a rocket just sitting up all the way up here in the sky, ready to hit anywhere on the map? And, and then for the rest of the season, all we see is the rocket looking down at us and we're all confused like oh crap where's the rocket gonna hit it's going to basically be the exact same thing as season three with the meteor where we're all sitting here questioning hey the rocket's gonna hit pretty soon what does this mean this is this is gonna happen very soon now i still believe that it can hit tilted towers if a super villain wanted to do something he would hit the most populated place which is tilted towers a lot of people are speculating uh moisey meyer just because there's nothing over there it's kind of boring it's kind of plain so they want to change up that map and some people were saying Pleasant Park, and I have no reason, no clue why they would think Pleasant Park. I guess because there's homes there. This is probably the biggest place or or town that has houses. I don't know if that's why they would hit it. But I mean, those are just some of the speculations that people are thinking. I still think it could hit Tilted Towers. I'm just gonna stick with my gut and say Tilted Towers, just because it is the most populated place. And actually, a lot of people are saying that Loot Lake could get hit because this whole water scene right here, nobody is ever here fighting or anything like that, just because of the water, and it's just kind of boring. So there's they're saying that they're going to connect like docks and stuff like that make it a beach who knows what they're going to do to it you know it's always just out there having rumors and stuff like that but i wanted to cover another thing if you guys have noticed these these trucks these trucks that are driving around with the hop rocks all the hop rocks are almost gone in, entirely in this map so there's no more hop rocks the only place i believe is dusty divot and if you find the trucks driving they're all driving that way which is over there going to snobby shores which for some reason if you actually go inside let me show you guys real quick if you go inside of the super Super villain layer you're going to see that there's actually hop rocks there's trucks there's all these things inside of it like they were transporting it to the super villain layer which means does this mean that they're working with the blockbuster skin does this mean that the blockbuster skin ended up landing and all the experiments that they were doing on the meteor the blockbuster skin like took over or maybe convinced them hey bring me hop rocks to my my rocket or something like that maybe I don't know what that means or anything like that but as you guys can see if you come inside of here you can see that there's rocks all over the place there's rocks and these rocks were never here before which means that some reason the the super villains or the people were bringing these rocks and these hop rocks over here i believe if you go over here to the pool you can actually even see some of the 
Okay, you can't see it right now, but if you ever play and you actually come here, you're gonna see that there's a lot, a lot of jump rocks here inside of this pool right here. And I think that's because that's what they need to use to power up this rocket. This is actually a pretty big rocket now that I'm looking at it. This thing's going to do some major damage to the city, you guys. But with that being said, that is basically all the map update that we're going to see in the next few days. So be ready, week four or season four of Fortnite is going to be crazy in the next few weeks you guys there's only two weeks left so we're going to see a lot of changes within the game stay tuned if you guys want to see any update on the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we're going to see a lot of changes here in the next future so stay tuned for that if anything happens again i will let you guys know immediately but with that being said guys thank you guys for everything i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next video peace